Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China announces R&D Center, shares teaser for Tesla bot project. Tesla Inc.'s $4.3 billion Hertz deal for 100,000 electric vehicles. Panasonic showcases Tesla 4680 battery cell prototype. And Tesla suspends Model Y from Giga Texas ceiling. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China has formally announced its newly completed research and development center in the Gigafactory Shanghai complex. The recently completed facility will be hosting several critical programs that would benefit Tesla on a worldwide scale, such as the design and creation of the company's upcoming $25,000 car. Interestingly enough, Tesla China's announcement video for its R&D center also included a rather interesting reference to a future product. The official announcement of Giga Shanghai's R&D center was posted on social media platforms such as Weibo and Twitter. The company posted a two-minute video to commemorate the announcement, which features some of the key milestones that Tesla China has achieved over the years. These include the ramp of the Model 3 and Model Y, as well as the creation of a dedicated supercharger facility. A substantial part of the video was also dedicated to the company's software prowess. Tesla VP of Vehicle Software, David Lau, and VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, spoke about the newly launched facility. According to Lau, as Tesla was starting to build its first manufacturing facility in China, the company was also growing its engineering team. This team was designed to be high-performing and self-sufficient, and it did not take long before China's engineering team started making recommendations for improvements in the company's products. The presence of the R&D center would most certainly expedite the growth of Tesla's China-based engineering talent. Interestingly enough, Tesla China made it a point to include the Tesla bot as part of the products that it highlighted while the VP of Vehicle Engineering was speaking. Whether this is hinting, that some developments of the Tesla bot would be made in Gigafactory Shanghai's R&D center remains to be seen. But if the talent is there, there is no doubt that Tesla would utilize all its resources across the globe to make such an ambitious project a reality. Moving to the next update, Tesla Inc.'s $4.3 billion Hertz deal for 100,000 electric vehicles. Just months after declaring bankruptcy, American car rental giant, Hertz Global Holdings, has placed an order for 100,000 Tesla Model 3 as part of its initiative to transform its fleet into sustainable vehicles. The update was related by individuals who were reportedly familiar with the matter. As noted by Bloomberg News, Hertz's 100,000 Tesla Model 3 order stands as the single largest purchase to date for electric vehicles. The sheer size of the order also represents about $4.2 billion in revenue for Tesla, according to the news outlet's anonymous sources. What is interesting is that the size of the order and Tesla's potential revenue suggests that Hertz would likely be paying full or close to full price for its Model 3 fleet. For drivers across the world, the name Tesla has become synonymous with electric cars. Offering unmatched performance and cutting-edge onboard technology, Tesla vehicles have revolutionized the driving landscape and continue to transform the way we travel. As the leading car rental company, we now offer the largest electric vehicle rental fleet in North America. Our flagship EV is the Tesla Model 3, a luxurious four-door sedan that features up to 260-mile driving range on a full charge and is the best-selling electric car in the world. Hertz wrote in a blog post. The Tesla Model 3 fleet is expected to start deliveries over the following 14 months, and the vehicles would reportedly be available for rental at Hertz locations across major cities in the United States and some areas of Europe. The cars will be available starting this coming November, Bloomberg's sources stated. Those who rent the Model 3 fleet would also enjoy some of the perks of Tesla ownership, such as the vehicle's convenient access to the supercharger network. Hertz is reportedly building its own electric vehicle charging infrastructure for its car rental fleet as well. Overall, 
The ambitious and prolific order for 100,000 Model 3 sedans marks a notable step for the car rental giant. It shows that Hertz's new owners seem determined to disrupt the car rental segment, a market that is very similar to the traditional auto industry, in that its biggest players are typically slow to embrace change. Moving to the next update, Panasonic showcases Tesla 4680 battery cell prototype. Tesla battery supplier Panasonic showed off some 4680 lithium-ion cells and shared a few details about its production. Panasonic recently revealed the 4680 cylindrical battery to the Wall Street Journal a little over a year after Tesla unveiled the new cell design during Battery Day. According to the head of Panasonic's battery unit, Kazuo Tadanobu, the larger cell design yields five times the capacity of smaller models. The Japanese battery maker plans to start 4680 test production by March 2022 in Japan. Last month, Panasonic announced it would be creating a new energy business, named Panasonic Energy Corporation, by April 2022. Panasonic's brief update about the 4680 battery cell underlines that Tesla plans to work with its current battery suppliers to increase its cell production capacity. During the last earnings call, Tesla's VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, noted that Tesla is in a generally cell-contained world. Even with the challenges it faces, Tesla seems determined to push through and start production on some exciting vehicles, specifically Elon Musk's Cybertruck. At the Q3 2021 earnings call, Tesla announced that its next product launch would be the Cybertruck. However, Moravi tempered expectations for Cybertruck production. As we've mentioned before, after Model Y in Austin, our next product launch will be Cybertruck. And that timing, of course, depends on increasing cell capacity, both from our suppliers and through our in-house cell, as well as many other headwinds we face in the supply chain and completing our currently full plate of products on the table, he said. Even with the challenges Tesla predicts it will continue to face, the company seemed confident that a few vehicles with 4680 cells would begin testing next year. Panasonic's March 2022 test production for the 4680 cells appears to align with Tesla's timeline. Moving to the last update, Tesla suspends Model Y from Giga Texas ceiling. Since Tesla broke ground on Giga Texas last year, a dedicated group of drone operators have flown over the factory on an almost daily basis to track the progress of construction. Sometimes Tesla has seemingly placed things specifically for the cameras on those drone to capture, like putting Giga press castings out in the open and hiding the Cybertruck near the windows of the second floor of the factory earlier this year. The latest gift from Tesla is a little less subtle. The automaker has hung a Model Y from the factory's ceiling for all to see. The black Model Y was first spotted on Friday by Twitter user Sam Margolis, who shared a video of it lit up at night. It was also spotted by drone operator Joe Tegmeyer. Tesla is still planning to open Giga Texas before the end of the year. During the company's Q3 2021 earnings call, CFO Zachary Kirkhorn said, even if they start production this year, the first deliveries of cars made at the new factory won't happen until early 2022. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.